All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we are going to talk about the Ca- the Dallas Cowboys. We'll talk about Stephen Jones, some comments that he made recently, just regarding, you know, the Cowboys star players, and you know they're trying to keep all these guys, but it's it's going to be tough. So I just wanted to get into what he had to say. So he said regarding um. Uh, well, actually, talking about Mike McCarthy first, because uh, uh, you know Mike McCarthy's on the last year of his contract. But yeah, so this is what he said. He said, "Well, those things take time." Uh, this is what he said on the Scoop City podcast uh, via the Athletic, and he said, "And we're talking about deals here. You know, when you're talking about CD and Dak, and you know somebody like a Micah coming up. I mean, you're talking about two players that aren't quarterbacks that feel like they ought to be a little bit like the Vikings, Justin Jefferson, the top." paid non-quarterbacks in the league. And then, of course, you have Dak. Obviously, his resume speaks for itself. You know, he was second in MVP voting last year. You know, he's just an extraordinary... He's just had an extraordinary career here in Dallas. And you know, those things just take time when you're talking about the amount of money involved. And, of course, we're trying a little bit play Houdini and how to keep all those guys around Dak and keep these players. We were fortunate enough to draft. And I think that... uh, Uh, He did say they're having those conversations with Dak's agent in the article that I have here. And then he also said, when you start stacking them up like that, you know, it's a challenge. It's not that it's not doable, but you certainly got to have some give and take if you want to do that. We got a lot of guys making, you know, quite a bit of money. And, you know, there's that's no excuses. That's no excuses. We think we can get these done. No, we can get it done, but it just takes time. Which is true. Um, I, I do uh, I do agree with that. But, yeah, it, I'm just curious, you know, as, as to how this is going to play out. I mean, they do want to keep Dak, but is Dak going to end up leaving? And I know his family members kind of want him to leave Dallas, I believe. Um, yeah, right now he's in the final year of his contract, and his cap hit is $55 million dollars which is 21.2% of the team's cap. CeeDee Lamb's in the final year of his contract. He's making $17.9 million. And then Micah Parsons has uh, two years remaining on his contract. Now, I've said all along that I think Dak is probably going to end up leaving. But, again, who knows? That's just the the way things are going. That's how I feel. Um, Dak right now is tied as the 12th highest paid quarterback with Daniel Jones. Um, and he led the league with 36 touchdown passes last season. CeeDee Lamb, 135 receptions. Uh, His salary right now is outside the top 20 for wide receivers. So you know he wants to get in, not not just like the top 10 or the top 5. He wants to be like the top 2. He wants to be the number 1 guy. And based off of the season that he had, I mean, I know I said I don't think he's going to get Justin Jefferson type money because that's just me thinking, well, I think Justin Jefferson is better than CeeDee Lamb. But CeeDee Lamb could eclipse that and become the highest paid a receiver in the league. Um, and then some other players that are making a lot of money. So Demarcus Lawrence, $20.4 million against the cap. Zach Martin, $15.5 million. And Trayvon Diggs, uh, $14.1 million. Um, so those are just some other notable players. And Trayvon Diggs, of course, is coming back from injury last year towards ACL, um, which was, you know, it's a big piece on their defense. So... Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's really going to be tough. I mean, Micah Parsons right now, you know, he's going to be dealt with last because, you know, there's still some time. But you know he wants his new deal. CeeDee Lamb, I mean, I've said all along the Cowboys are trying to make him a priority. He He's the priority right now. They're trying to get a deal done with him. And then I guess they'll focus on Dak and see if they can get a deal done with him. But I don't know. I, I just I, I don't know if that's going to be the case if he's going to end up staying. Um, I think, like I said, I think ultimately what's going to end up happening is he's going to leave and he's going to go somewhere else. And there'll be spots that open up that I, I'm sure he's going to, he's going to find a job, no problem. Um, you know, because teams are, teams always need a quarterback. So, and who's going to be the team that'd be willing to pay him the money that he wants? And I know Dak in some interviews you know, has talked about how, you know, he doesn't have to be the highest-paid quarterback. 
but he you know he wants to pay he wants to get paid a lot of money and you know i don't think dak i think dak deserves to get paid of course but i mean i, I don't look at him as one of the top guys you know I, I there are quarterbacks that i would rank ahead of him you know um but i don't think he deserves you know top dollar and be the highest paid quarterback i i just don't I think he's a I think he's a solid quarterback and you know and I've said that I I wasn't always a big Dak guy I well and you could say well it's because you're a giant fan no it's just for me Dak's a good regular season quarterback you get to the postseason and he just doesn't get it done you know he's got two playoff wins in eight years you know I mean he's kind of having the same career that Tony Romo had where you put up good numbers in the regular season you get to the playoffs and then and then nothing happens. That's that's kind of how I view him. But you know what? You could say that about a lot of guys. Do well in the regular season, get to the postseason, and they can't get the job done. And he is one of those guys that falls in that category. And I think the Cowboys, they, they've had a lot of talent on this team ever since he took over as a starting quarterback back in 2016. Now, I feel like offensively, you know, especially going into this year, like, yeah, of course, you have CeeDee Lamb, who is, you know, a, a top two wide receiver in the league. Uh, but, you know, in years past, the Cowboys have had more talent. I, I mean, I think, uh, you know, trading away Amari Cooper and now losing Tony Pollard. You look at this running game, I mean, who's going to step up? I know they brought back Zeke, but Zeke is not the same player that he once was. You know, it, it's... I, I think the Cowboys' offense is still going to be good. I mean, you got Brandon Cooks, Jacob Ferguson. You know, the, the Cowboys, like I've always said, the Cowboys always seem to have a good tight end. But I don't know. For me, it, it's it's CeeDee Lamb, and then it's a lot of it's it's question marks. I mean, it, I mean, you got Brandon Cooks, like I said, but, you know, Brandon Cooks is getting older. You know? So, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like... From when Dak started, first started to now, like that 2016 offense, you know, with Des Bryant and Prime Zeke and that the offensive line when it was still intact, because it's different now. Uh, now you got no no more Tyron Smith. You know, it's just it's just Zach Martin from that offensive line because they had Travis, Travis Frederick who retired, um, Tyron Smith, like I said, uh, I think that, yeah, Doug Free was on the, the 2016 team. I know he's on the 2014 uh, offensive line. But, yeah, it's just guy, guys have left or, retire, or retired. You know, that offensive line's different now. And they had, um, you know, Biotish go to the uh, um, the commanders. So, you know, it, it's just... It's the offensive line. It's got some uh, some moving pieces, and I know they had to address the offensive line in the draft. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, looking at this Cowboys offense, it's going to be good. But you know, I, I still have like, like th there's some guys that are going to have to step up. You know, so um, we'll see how that ends up going. But right now, there is no. Uh, I, I, I the Cowboys are working on these things behind closed doors you know right now there's no real updates but you know they're having conversations with Dak they want to make CD Lamb a priority which I've talked about already on the show before so it's again it's just more waiting that's re that's really what it is it's just more waiting and I know some of you are probably getting sick of me being repetitive but it's just that's what happens especially in the off season because you know, we get to certain points where it's just there's nothing going on. And just got to continue to play that waiting game until something does end up happening. So um, that's what we're going to continue to do. But you just hope that, I mean, Dak is going to play. He's not going to hold out, and I, I don't believe. But, you know, CeeDee Lamb, it's possible he holds out. Even though he has said he's not going to. But you don't want any of this leaking into the regular season, which I don't think it's going to. Now, I know what was a problem for the Cowboys is, you know, waiting to pay CeeDee Lamb because you had all of these receivers get paid, and now CeeDee Lamb's like, well, I want to get, get what they got. So 
that kind of hurt them. But that's really my thoughts on it. Um, you know, we just, like I said, we just got to continue to play that waiting game. But if they get CeeDee Lamb done, that's at least one step forward. And then they'll, I guess they'll work on Dak. And if they can't get to an agreement with him, then they're going to have to go in a different direction at quarterback. And I know Trey Lance's name has been floating, floating around because they brought him in. And that could end up being the backup plan if Dak does not stay with the Cowboys. But maybe he ends up, maybe he ends up with the Giants. I, if the Giants ended up signing Dak, which I don't think would happen, I, I don't know how it would feel. I mean, Well, I mean, he would be the Giants' starting quarterback, so, I mean, you got to root for him. But it would just be very strange if that did end up happening. Because I know looking at, like, a possible, you know, articles that have come out with possible destinations for, for Dak, the Giants were on a list because – who knows what's going to happen with Daniel Jones, who is another guy that we will talk about a little later in the show as well. So, like I said, we just got to continue to play that waiting game, folks. I, I Again, it, it's just I, I keep repeating myself with, with certain guys in certain situations, but that's just that's just how it is right now. So we just got to continue to play that waiting game. But let me know what you guys think. How do you see all this playing out with the Cowboys? Do you think they're going to be able to keep everybody or is someone leaving? And again, I, I think it's Dak at the moment. So we're going to take, well, actually, before we go to break, I just want to remind you guys again, tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So when we come back from our second break of the show, we'll talk about some comments made by John Harbaugh on Lamar Jackson. You know, we talked about Lamar Jackson a little bit before. You know, just talk about him as well as the Ravens uh, going into the 2024 season, but, but particularly what he had to say about Lamar Jackson and about possibly being the greatest ever. So... With that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 